Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this amazing stealth armor as well as uh, how to upgrade it. But first, how to get it at a discounted price. It's uh, <clears throat> probably some of the best armor you can get because uh, it's going to allow you, if you upgrade it, the great fairy fountains to uh, basically run around faster at night. And it has stealth, so of course, it's going to allow you to collect resources and everything like that, kill enemies more easily, a bunch of different things like that. It, it's going to be very, very... Uh, helpful in your journey so if you do enjoy this one be sure to leave a like subscribe for more and without further ado my friends let's go ahead and jump into this first things first let's go to kakariko if you don't know where that is it is right here at the kind of bottom right ish area of the map kakariko is right here there's a shrine right here we're going to go here uh the closest tower is probably going to be the sahar sahasra tower and you're going to go over here uh once we get here there's going to be a couple different shops there's one here and there's one there uh the one here is by the cooking pot right below the shrine we're gonna go ahead uh, not go in this one. I went into the wrong one. We're going to the other end of town Okay, this is where we were over there. We're going to the other end of town It's gonna be in this shop third times a charm they say right there It's this shop and you can see how much this costs. So we're going for this uh, armor here uh, <clears throat> 5,000 5,000 5,000 same thing with the radiant armor if you want 5,000 5,000 5,000 if you want all of it, it'd be 30,000. Radiant armor is cool. It glows in the dark, but uh, beyond that, it doesn't do a whole lot. Um, it does if you enhance and increase the proficiency of bone items, which is kind of pointless. So we're not going to focus on that, but now you know how to do that in case you want to. Uh, we're going to go talk to this person here. She's going to say, please let grandmother be okay. And anyways, the whole thing is that she has a whole kind of issue going on. Uh, and we're going to have to basically get some ingredients and cook something specifically uh, for her. Uh, so there's very specific ingredients we're going to need. Um, so we, you know, we could ask her about the situation at home. She tells us about her grandmother that's fallen sick and uh, whatnot. I've had to hike up the prices on everything I have in stock. Uh, so basically until mother is, grandmother, excuse me, is healthy, uh, then, you know, it's, it's going to, it's not gonna it's not gonna be good okay we're gonna have inflated prices so let's go ahead and uh show you guys what ingredients we're gonna need to cook her grandmother the special dish all right so we're gonna be going to hataneo village right over here on the map you can see uh closest ones probably mount laneru skyview tower or rubella wetlands again right over here bottom right because we need to buy an ingredient or you actually could buy two uh while we're here <laughs> we might as well buy a couple different ones so we're gonna fly over here <clears throat> just past uh this shop here which is the the dye shop um and if we make our way over there's gonna be a shop over here because there's a, a specific item that i don't think we can find in the wild uh, and if you can find in the wild i don't know how to do it uh fresh milk oh. so <clears throat> while we're here i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna buy uh all of them you don't need all of them you only technically need one uh anyways he's just gonna go ahead and talk so just ignore him uh go ahead and buy whatever you want again you, you technically only need one so that's gonna be the first item the second item is going to be rice uh i think you can get rice by like cutting grass and and whatnot in the world but i'm just gonna buy it here because why not uh again you only need one but since i'm here I'm going to take them all because you never know when you're going to need some. There's carrots and stuff like that, but you don't need those. Uh, same thing with tomatoes. Don't need those. Uh, so all we need is going to be the milk from here and the rice. And then we're also going to need uh, one other thing, which is going to be, if I can find it in my list here, um, some kind of herb. So or some kind of, I guess, grain or something. So for me, uh, what, am I not organizing this right? So for me, I'm just going to use uh, the Hyrule herbs because they, they come in, in, in an abundance in the world. You, you probably have some already because they're very, very easy to find. You just go around. I'm going to use that, uh, but basically uh, use a grain, something like that, and uh, alongside it. And then we need one more item. So the other item that we need is a Sundalion. Now Sundalion, uh, it can be found mostly in the sky area. It helps kind of uh, offset the effects of gloom. So highly recommend you farm for this either way, but in, all in the sky islands, you can typically find them uh, in most places, most of these sky islands. Also anywhere on the ground where chunks of the sky islands have fallen down to the ground, usually you can find them there. Uh, there's actually a ton of them over in Terrytown. So like just around the kind of outskirts uh, area, you can find a bunch around here. <clears throat> um, 
of these uh, fallen chunks from, from the sky. And there's a bunch of Sunday lions around there usually as well. So <clears throat> you can go ahead and do that. And that's going to be the fourth and final ingredient. Then we're going to go back to Kakariko Village. And uh, we're going to go cook. Now, you can cook right down here. Uh, but the place we're going to be going anyways uh, should have a cooking pot. Let me just quickly find it real quick. Okay, yeah, it's over here. So on the top right area over here, we're going to go to this cooking pot. Uh, this won't work either. If you talk to this person here, actually, you'll talk about it's basically the sister of the grandmother. Uh, and this is actually going to start the side quest, technically speaking. They're talking about the nasty gloom is what she's uh, sick with. Porridge is about the only thing she can keep down right now. Ingredients that could help with the gloom sickness, but none of them have any effect. Uh, so you can ask about gloom. Uh, and she'll just go about, you know, gloom, talking about gloom. As you ask about the porridge, she'll tell you what the porridge is. The porridge is great. She can eat the porridge, but she's she's sick with gloom. So we got to heal her from gloom. And so to heal her from gloom, you got to know about the, the fact that you use sundalions to heal from gloom. So if you stick all the ingredients that she mentioned together, uh, so let's say <clears throat> the rice here, I'm going to hold that. Uh, we're going to put a milk. We're going to put one of the sundalions, which she did not mention. Uh, and then what was the final one again? Oh, yeah, like a, a herb, right? So let's say the Hyrule herb. So we stick all those together and we cook them. It should give us a, a kind of gloom porridge, uh, if you will. So again, it's going to be the porridge that her grandmother's able to eat. But look at that. It restores gloom. That's on the right side, the broken hearts. Uh, sunny veggie porridge. Ooh, sounds... Sounds interesting. Um, I don't know if it sounds good, but it sounds interesting. So we're going to say, hey, what's that gentle aroma? Is that porridge I smell? Give it a try. Here you go. Just don't eat it. Give it to your grandmother. Because if you eat it, then I got to create more and I don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> so I don't know where she went. Well, grandmother, how is it? Thank you. That was the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. Grandmother, your complexion. The color's coming back to your cheeks. Oh, I think grandmother's healed. Look at that. Grandmother's out and about and well. A few bites of your sunny veggie porridge, and it's like she was never even sick. Um, so you're the one who made the... Anyways, they're going to they're go around. There's a bunch of text. You can read the rest for yourself. I'll skip through it so you guys can just, you know, enjoy some of it. Anyway, so shopkeeper over here is going to come in. She's going to be like, wow, grandmother's great. And anyways, all that to say, uh, that's now going to decrease the prices to a normal price in the shop. So I'm going to skip through this. We're going to go to her shop, and we're going to see uh, what the cost is now. She also gave us her own porridge in return. Energizing veggie porridge. Gives us some stamina as well. Like three quarters of a wheel. Alright, so if we come back to the shop, you can see 600, 700, 500. Way better. Still a little pricey, but way better. Uh, same thing. 800, 800, 800. This is still way cheaper than it was. It was like, what, 5,000 a piece? So, severely, for, for, 42... 100 rupees uh, dramatically, drastically uh, decreased there. The same thing with these, even more so, because these were like 5,000. That's like, I, I don't even I don't even know the math. Um, so you can go ahead and you could buy all these sets. And if you upgrade them at the Great Fairies, uh, it's also going to increase your speed at night. It's going to give you a speed at night boost. Um, so between things like 9 p.m. and 4 a.m. roughly, uh, you're going to run around a little bit faster, kind of like Dark Link in Breath of the Wild and also Dark Link in this game also. So that's going to be super useful. You're going to have your stealth up. Um, so that's one way to get stealth up. Now, there's also the Yiga, Yiga, if I'm pronouncing it right, clan armor uh, here, which I have a video on my channel already for that. So if you want to get stealth up there, I don't know what the upgrades are yet for this one though, at the time of recording this. Uh, I don't know if it's similar upgrades. These ones are free at least, so you don't have to spend, what is it, 500 plus 600, that's 1100 plus 700. That's like what, 1800 rupees, which I don't currently have, but I'm gonna buy them. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what the set looks like at the, I guess on screen. Maybe I'll throw it on screen right now once I have enough rupees and uh, you guys can see. But for now, we'll wrap this video up. I hope this helped you guys out. If you wanna know how to enhance your armor, again, great fairy locations. I have a video on my channel for that as well. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this one. Be sure to stick around for more. Stay safe, stay well, and until the next one, game on and thanks for watching. Watching.